G'day guys, how are we going? Well, camping light setups. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using for my camping light setup when I'm out there in the bush, and it's pretty basic. Let me give you the drum, which is not such a bad thing when it comes to lighting and power. But at the same time, it provides me ample light for whatever I'm doing, have a night time, whether it's outside under the awning there or trying to get things in and out of the back of my full drive here. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so let's have a chat about my basic camping light setup. Now, right, so we'll talk about some of the pros and cons with hardwired lighting, which I do have some hardwired lighting, and it also got some, some battery lighting that I can sort of move around and carry to wherever I want to set it up in the camp. Now, the thing with hardwired lighting, um, you know, it's hooked up to my battery. Uh, it's permanently fixed inside my full drive here, so I can't pick it up and move it around. But the thing with hardwired lights, you know, it does cost quite a lot of money. If you can't do it yourself, you're not qualified to do it yourself. Well, it does cost a fair bit of money to get an auto electrician to hook those lights up properly to make sure that it is done right. But I've got a couple in here. So under here, I've got um, a dimmer light here, which this strip under here provides me ample light, plenty under here for, you know, when I want to get boxes and things out at night or rat through my boxes in here. Gives me plenty of light. Then I've also got another one here which let lights up the top, so they're um, mounted in there and provides me a stack of light over the top of the tray there if I want to get anything in and out of there. But as I say, the only drama is I can't pick those up and take them to wherever I want to take them. Um, and then the other thing I've got going on, I've just got this, just this one battery light. Now the way battery, especially LED battery lights are going these days, um, they're so economical, you know, when you use them at night time and the batteries last for ages. But the thing is, you just got to make sure you've got somewhere to charge them back up again if they do run a little bit low. You know, I've got the inverter down there, so you know I can I can charge these things up on the run. But um, but they do last a long time, and you know I can move those around. So you know I've got a couple of you know different settings with it. I can dim it down at night time as well. Um, so that's certainly one light that I use and provides me a stack of light. Yeah, and then the other thing I, I use is just this is my torch of a night time. Um, I used to use this when I did my property maintenance, the old Milwaukee battery light there, and it is fantastic at night time. Gives me plenty of light, you know, for looking around at night time. And the, one of the good things about it is the very few times a year, look, I'd seriously, I'd lucky if I charged this two to three times a year. Um, it's, that's how, you know, very little battery it uses. Now, there's still three lights lighting up on that at the moment. So there's plenty of charge in that, but you know, some people's camping lights, you know, you set up, that you see them set up at night time, it's like being under the lights at the MCG. It is that bright, uh, you know, you're waiting for the, for the footy to start. But um, I don't know, I, I don't, not into sort of all those big bright light setups. So that's all I've got in the back here, and it works really well. I'll go around the corner here, and I'll show you my one last light. Works a treat. Let's check that out. And this is the other one I've got here. Uh, this is just again on a dimmer switch. And at night time, it lights up this whole area inside under here. Gives me ample lighting for seeing what I've got to do. Sometimes I might have my table, you know, set up here, my box is down in there, and gives me plenty of light to get whatever I've got to get in and out. And then these lights here, they're just plugged into both this one and the, the light strip in the back in there. They're plugged into a little, little unit in here that I had installed when I put my battery in and my, my lithium battery in, so, you know, you can check that out if you want to have a look at that. But, um, but yeah, this is all my lighting. Not many at all. I've got two in the back in there. This one here, I've got the little battery one that I can move around and take it to wherever I want to take it, hang it up. And then my torch, that's it. Done and dusted. How many lights have you guys got? You got less than that. I'd like to know if you even got less than that. That'd be pretty impressive. So let us know in the comments down below how many lights you guys got and what sort of lights you do use. Have you got the hard wide setup or do you use more of those battery arrangements? And there's, as I say with those batteries, they're so good to maybe have a look at these days with going forward, I reckon. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Hooray.